Well, good late evening. I'm out here on a Sunday night and I'm just working on trying to stamp some of my gospel tracks. I've got this many left to do and I've already did about half that or a little less than half that and I've been sitting here uh, wearing out my little stamper. Uh, I think the guts in it is is going out and I'm um, having to turn it sideways to make it print level so I think I'm wearing out the uh, the pad but I don't have but just these few to go and uh, the Lord convicted me of having all this information and me letting it sit up in the cabinet when time is drawing nigh. And uh, I took a few of them this morning or this afternoon. I took them to a meat market. I had never been in the store. It looked like it was a pretty nice store too. And I asked the lady if there was any place I could put these gospel tracks. And she sort of looked at me a little bit hard like, she had never seen anybody put out a gospel trap before. And she looked back there and asked somebody else if he could put them up there. And she showed me a place of where I could put them, where some business cards was located. And she is nice enough to let me put them in the store. I found when I left, there was two young ladies that worked there that actually came over there and wanted to see what they was. And it looked like they were sort of checking out to see if I was some loony nut or not. Because let's face it, not everybody hands out gospel tracts. Uh, I hand out a lot of them when I can. Um... Uh, a lot of people in the nursing home will take them, but after you've handed them out so many times, you know they can't. But they can't take but so many. They don't have a family member that goes and sees them in the nursing home due to the uh, virus, so uh, they have really nobody to give them to. So I just put them in different places that they'll let me put them. Sometimes I'll put them at the restaurant. And this morning I was heading to church. And I thought about that meat market. And I thought, well, you know, there's people probably going in there buying their stuff that they need for their family. And I'm thinking I've never taken any of them there. So I decided that I would... Uh, Stop by and see what they had going on. And uh, it looked like there was a few people in there, even on a Sunday. It looked like there was a few people in there shopping, you know, and everything. And uh, But, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to have a desire to want to give out information. Uh, I think there's a book in Isaiah. I'm going to have to stop with this stamping because my ink is, uh, I'm having to hold it down too much and it's not printing out my name. It's printing out my phone number, which is the main thing, but it's not putting the name on it. So it looks like I'm going to have to stop for just a few minutes to let it, and we'll see if I can't uh, yank the stamp off of it and uh, be putting some fluid in it to let it absorb because it takes a little while to absorb. But anyway, in that book of Isaiah, Isaiah... 55 and verse 11 
it states that God's word will not return unto him void. Meaning it will go out and it will do what it's sent to do. And there's Bible verses that is on this track. And I'll even show you one in just a minute. I'm getting this little pad out where I can put some more ink in it. Um, my ink's getting a little bit low too. But I only have but so many to do and I'll be done. And then I'll probably end up ordering some more. Because I don't ever like to run out. And the place I get them from is a place called Fellowship Track League. It's a church ministry that prints them off. They have been excellent to work with. Um, they don't charge me a dime. They mail these things to me by the box because they know that I put them out in the nursing home. I don't try to abuse the track. I just try to utilize the track as much as I can. I haven't ordered any in a good while. But again, I felt like that the least I could do was to, you know, get them stamped and get them out in the public. Time is drawing nigh. I think one of the reasons I wanted to come out here even tonight is to still throw some of these tracks up and get them ready to go. But the track is entitled, I'm a Pretty Good Person. And at the bottom of the track, it says, I would never hurt anybody. I am honest, and I love and care for my family. Surely, I will go to heaven when I die. Well, we know that a lot of good people don't go to heaven. There's a many a good person that don't make it to heaven. Uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news to anybody, but there's a many a person in hell today that thought that they had salvation worked out. They lived a good life. They was honest. They was the right kind of person. But they failed to get the salvation of Jesus Christ. Um, we're one day closer from the video that I made the other day. We're one day closer. We're 24 hours closer to the coming of the Lord. And you know, I talk about the coming of the Lord quite often. And I don't apologize for it either. Because I don't know when he's coming. That's very, very true. I have, I have no idea when he's coming. But I believe he's coming. And I don't want to leave this world knowing that I had a bunch of tracks in here that I could uh, get stamped and get them out of this room and get them into the public where people could really put their hands on them. See, I don't know what that meat market will do with them tracks. Hopefully they'll leave them there and people will see them and pick one up. But see, I'm not in control of that track. If they dump them tracks into garbage, it won't be my fault. Maybe somebody at the dump maybe would look down at that trash before they bury them <clears throat> and see all them tracks there and maybe would pick them up. I don't know. 
I've got several little testaments here. And I got twice that many in that shelf up there. They've been there for, oh, I don't know, five years or more. And I've handed a few of them out, but I still got double this amount in that shelf. They need to be stamped, and they need to be given away to somebody. So, I don't have no scripture tonight other than, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the verse in Revelations 1 and verse 3 says that time is at hand. And I believe it is. And like I said, from yesterday this time has been 24 hours ago. And that means that we're 24 hours nearer to going home. Now, do I want to die? No, I don't want to die. But you know what? The Bible says we have been appointed unto man wants to die. Well, you know what? I'm glad that I already died one death. I died one death when the Lord saved my soul. I'm glad that he did too. I'm honored that he loved me enough to give me a chance to get salvation. And if you happen to tune in to this little short video tonight, make sure that you got God's salvation. Because the Bible says it's a gift from God. Um... For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says that God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And yes, Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death, but, but the gift of God is eternal life. So what do you have to do to get the gift? You have to accept that he lives. You have to accept that he died on the cross. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. It's not no wonder if I measure up or if I don't measure up. That has nothing to do with it because it's a gift that God gave. If I could give you a gift, if I could give you one of these testaments, I'd have to know where to send it to because I can't shove it into the camera. I can't make it go into the camera. But I'd be glad to send you a track, send you a Bible if you need one. I don't mind a bit in the world at doing that. The Bible says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't know who the whosoever's I'm talking to tonight. But I pray that if you are whosoever and you are, that the Lord went and died so that he could give you a free gift of salvation. And he wants you to know that that gift is for you. 1 John 5 and 13 tells us these things. Have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know? I know what I've been doing tonight. Still got more work to do. My stamper is taking in the ink right now. It might be tomorrow before I can get back to the stamping, but I've got several of them here that's done, and I've got more to do. So with that, I'll say good evening to you. I hope that you enjoy this little short clip make sure that you have salvation that's what jesus would tell you if he was here today that's what he would tell you he wouldn't tell you a bunch of religious goulash that's part of the problem 
The religious goulash don't send no one to heaven. It confuses people. Yeah, you got to be saved, but you got to live a holy life. Well, the Bible says that he gives a gift. My mama never offered me a Christmas gift and said, you got to give that gift back. She never did that to me. When she gave me a gift, it was my gift. If I tore it up 30 minutes after I got it, it was my gift to tear up. And sometimes I think that that's what we do to the Lord, that we tear up the gift of salvation when he gives us a gift because we don't value it. Take the time to value this gift, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. I got more work to do, so... If you need me, holler. Elderly Ministry is the YouTube channel site. You can go there. Elderlyministry.com is the website. There's a phone number there that you can reach me on. Glad to talk with you. Any way I can help, be glad to do it. Okay. Thank y'all for tuning in.